Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to style your dining table in three different ways for the coming festivities. The first look is going to be a rustic chic look, a look that I'm really going with this year, but something that's completely new for me. So I'm very excited about that. The second look is going to be more of a typical elegant Christmas themed look, and we're gonna be using more reds and greens and maroons. The third look, we thought we'd go all green, and I will save that one for the last part of the video, but it's a good one. Okay, let's get started. The first theme is the rustic chic theme. We are all lit up. I'm super, super ready for this. Today, I've actually set the table as well as having my kind of centerpiece decor, which I did myself. So I've gone for pampas grass, in fact, kept in the dried eucalyptus that I had from fall. And I've just sort of arranged that together so it looks really beautiful, quite rustic, and almost still quite autumnal. Around that centerpiece vase, I've used some old cheese boards, some twigs that I got from the park um, and stack them up with some really large fir cones, pine cones, and then from the flower market, I've got some really lovely tall slimline candles that I've put around the table, but instead of using a candelabra, I've literally just stuck them down on the table so that they feel a little bit more seamless, a little bit more airy, so that it doesn't feel like there's too much going on on the table. I went to Wedgwood to buy some really beautiful plates. I'm gonna show you, this was my inspiration inspiration for buying this set. And then I've got the larger plate, which I think is 23 centimeters and the 19 centimeters on the top. And then super excitingly, when I walked into Harrods, they also showed me that they had this, which is a square underplate within the same design range. And I really love that. It really kind of works with my rustic themed Christmas this year, but it also feels like something I could use all year round. So I really do like that. It looks really beautiful as a complete set. So no placemat needed for this year's Christmas festive look. I've also this year gone for some cutlery that I've had my eye on for quite some time. This year, I invested in a bamboo set, which is from Cleo and Clover. This isn't a sponsored ad, I just absolutely love them. I also really love how light they feel, and they really work beautifully alongside my new Parkland set. On the side of the main set, I've got a little salad plate or side plate, and I have dressed that with just actually a very kind of normal linen napkin from home, but I've then used a handmade napkin ring, and I will link the name of where I bought this from below. It's a British company, really beautifully made, absolutely stunning. I've not really seen anything quite like that. They really are very, very pretty, um, and again, work very, very beautiful with my sort of rustic over theme. Okay, and finally, by the side of my side or salad plate, I have picked this really lovely tartan cracker. This was probably the most inexpensive thing on the table other than my cheese boards that I've had for quite some time. I think these were 15 pounds from Sainsbury's. They worked really, really well with the rest of the setting. So I'm really pleased to have these. We go through so many crackers during Christmas time because of course I love to dress the table and the kids love to ask me on the weekends if they can open up the crackers. So we don't end up with very many for pretty much the first few weeks of Christmas. It's quite nice to just keep something that really looks beautiful, but I haven't gone out and spent loads of money on. In terms of the glassware that I've got on the table, I've really had these for a very long time. I've got Waterford set here, a glass and a wine or juice. I quite like the different heights here. It's quite a classic set. I really do like it. I feel it works with every single type of dinner that I could have. Finally, just again, I know some people have already seen this on my dining table and chairs. I always love a throw. I think it makes the home feel so much warmer and I will put a throw wherever I can have one. I love decorating the dining chairs at Christmas with throws. I really think it kind of pulls everything together and makes the whole scene and the atmosphere feel warm and cozy and very festive. For the second theme, we are going for a classic Christmas red.
Okay, so for the classic red Christmas theme, you'll notice I've kept the arrangement in the center of the table. Obviously, if we did have a dinner party and I wasn't setting up for the video, then I would take probably down those taller vases. But for today and to set this tablescape, I've left the taller vases up, which is really enhancing that festive rustic look. Just to show you how the red done elegantly can actually still work with the rustic theme. So you can still add add in some really lovely berry maroon red, but just keep it really, really classy. And now I'm gonna show you how. Okay, so for the plateware, I have used a collection from the Royal Albert, and it's called Old Country Roses. I should remember that, uh, but it is written on the back, helpfully. And I've got the salad plate on top of the dinner plate. It really is my Christmas set. I've had it for, again, a long time. I had always wanted something with a little bit of reddish sort of maroon that I could use for Christmas. So this is a really great set that I've had for a long time. To pair that with everything else that's going on in the table, I bought this really stunning cutlery from Bonadea in London, and it really is fabulous. They're a really beautiful weight. They are originally from France, beautifully made. Those I've placed just on the side. And for the Christmas cracker, right now, this is a special one. Rather than just using any old Christmas cracker, I wanted to really make sure I got exactly that kind of red that was in the plate. It's an in-between red and maroon. so. It's not an easy one to get a cracker of exactly the same color. So what I have done is we've bought some very plain kind of standard goldish crackers from Sainsbury's and we have literally covered those with a velvet maroon ribbon on three sides. So one, two and three, just a really extra thick ribbon. And I've used a nice velvet dusty green bow. It really does work beautifully. It makes the whole tablescape feel very, very glamorous. And of course, it's a tribute to my love of bows. So I've just placed that actually on the top of the plate. And for something very, very special, the napkins that again, we've used that same bow that we've got in the crackers to sort of become a napkin holder for these beautiful napkins, which are embroidered with the initials of every one of my guests' um, names. For this one, I've actually then added in a little bit of Christmas decoration. It's a real flower. It just really looks lovely. I love the actual green that we've chosen for the embroidery. They are so special and such a lovely gift to end up giving your guests. These are from the Embroidered Napkin Company. They've really done a great job. They were fabulously fast also, so that was fantastic. So thank you to the Embroidered Napkin Company. They really have done a beautiful job and the linen itself is really lovely. So for my candles, which I'm just straightening out here, I've added some really lovely dark deep red candles and I've just added them to the green candles that I have for my other actual tablescape and they really do look wonderful alongside all of the green. I think that mix of red and green really elevates the whole space and makes it feel very very grand and very chic. The only thing I have not yet mentioned are the placemats. Now, wonderfully, this company, Tree Chi Design, has actually created these really deep red placemats. They have this lovely piping detail in a cream, which just works absolutely beautiful with my plates. Now, what I really love about this placemat is, you know, usually you'll get a scalloped placemat or a square placemat or a round, and these are just such a beautiful shape. So they're almost octagonal, but, you know, they're just very, very pretty, very soft, but they do have some kind of shape. So I love that. I love the fact that they're double boarded also. I just think that gives extra emphasis to each place setting. So it looks really strong here. And I think that bold look just resonates throughout the rest of the table. And for today's final table setting, we are going to be doing a glamorous green. For this mix, I've done a silver and green. And again, I wanted it to be really classy to still work with that sort of rustic festive theme. And so really just going with the greens and with that natural feeling. Let me start with my plate set, which again is a Wedgwood actually. It's a Vera Wang Wedgwood. I obviously really love the Wedgwood collection. This one is a special collection for me. Um, I've had for quite some time, but I love using it. I always think it feels very, very elegant. So you can see the smaller plate 
adorned with these really lovely florals, all in silvers, and then the base plate, the dinner plate, just being quite simple with a nice silver detailing on the edge and in the center of the plate. So that really is very, very pretty. I have then, from Trichi, who you can find on Instagram, we've got these napkins with this lovely cream piping detail. And again, you'll see I've used my now favorite napkin ring holders, this really lovely rustic collection, which I think works fabulously actually with the green also, because it does feel very, very natural. So we've done this napkin on the top of the plates and for my placemat, Trichi have also actually given us a really beautiful base placemat and it really does work fantastically together. I didn't want to then add in another green central cracker. What I've done instead, and actually this is also from the Sainsbury's range, I've picked up this very, very pretty, very Christmassy, you can see this nice little brown tissue paper as the bow inside, very decorative. It's kind of a subtle gold-ish, but it's almost a goldish green. So it's a really lovely set. And I put that at the top and then by the side, I've actually used my salad plates that I had from the Parkland collection from my previous set. I've also added on the top of there because who doesn't love an extra cracker? A mini cracker, which I think looks really, really pretty. Again, these minis are also from Sainsbury's and I've turned it the other way to just give some different direction in terms of the whole place setting so it feels quite playful in terms of the different lines. I've kept this bamboo cutlery set again for this table setting and I really think again it works very very well. In terms of what I've used for the candles I've again really very simply placed these tall moss green candles again that I've picked up from the flower market. I've kept the taupe candles that I've used with my initial tablescape and I think actually now that they've burned down slightly they're working really really beautifully with these sort of taller moss green candles. This green theme for me works not just well for Christmas. I think what's really lovely about this is it has longevity and can really work through the years because it does feel very elegant, very grand. You know, not necessarily festive if we weren't in the festive season, but of course, because we are in the festive season, I think that just sort of pulls together really nicely. I hope you have really enjoyed the three table settings for today. They have been amazing to create for you. Each one is really beautiful, grand, bold, but also really elegant. And what you will notice with the three themes is that we have really stuck to that kind of rustic festive look. So rather than having to change up the centerpiece every time, we've really kept that as the middle section, as the kind of grounding section. I think it really does look glorious in every one of the settings. I hope you've enjoyed this. We've loved doing it for you. If you have any comments or you want to ask me about any of the decorations, please do let me know in the comments box and I will come back to you as soon as I can.